All right, guys, so we got workout two here at Muscle Camp. You guys set the bar pretty high on our last workout. We're training for strength. Today, we're training for the pump. All right, so we've got our hit upper body pump workout. We've got six exercises. Same style, though. We're going all out, all right? Two sets of 25. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find a maximum weight we can work with for high reps, but heavy weight. Two sets of 25, all out, six exercise. Get your cameras ready, then we're gonna take some selfies after. Yeah. This is the workout that you take a selfie after. All right? You guys ready? Yeah. All right. I'm, ready. I'm gonna actually maybe jump in today because we lost Nick. What do you think? Should I jump yeah, in? I Should I jump in? Yeah. All right, I gotta get a workout in today too, so we're gonna switch things up today. All right. Exercise number one are for the lats. We are doing double rope pull downs. If you don't have two ropes in your gym, no problem. You guys can use a straight bar, neutral grip, straight bar, whatever works for you guys. The form remains the same here. We're focusing on shoulder extension, traveling a big distance with your lats. This is all about constant tension now, not peak tension. As you're pulling down, come down slow. You can start to kind of stand up and let your hips move forward. Move, there you go. So see how you create more room? And then as you're coming down, you can let your hips go back. 10 little ones, here we go. Keep going, these are the money reps now. Good, I'm gonna take you through two inches more at the bottom. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Finish, 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 finish. There you go, good. And we're gonna do five partials in the bottom position, right here. Just contract your lats. One, two, little ones. Squeeze hard. Two more. Good job. Good. One more, and now we're doing partials from halfway down. Ready, go. Good, little ones right here. Two, eight. After this, we're gonna do five partials at the top. Let it stretch you out, let it stretch you up, and just down to my hand now. Just to my hand, ready, go. One, the little ones, one, two, three more, three. Lats, activate your lats. Two more, one, two. Now you're done, good job. Good work, all right. Yeah, there you go. Good job. Constant tension, no swinging. That's it, maintain every inch of the movement. Here we go, this is different than strength training. I want you to squeeze through it. Don't swing through it. Feel those lats all the way through. Good, gonna earn some wings here. Flare them out. There you go, good job. All right. That's it. Oh man. Woo. I was squeezing. For, Let's get a I was trying shot. to squeeze my muscles out of my skin. Get a wing shot. Uh, I was just one sec. <laughs> Exercise number two are high to low cable chest presses. If you don't have this set up here in your gym, no problem. You can do dumbbell chest flies or you can do machine chest flies. We're going again. Constant tension is the name of the game owning every single inch of the movement and making your skin rip. That's what we're aiming for here. 22. Good. All right. Just the little ones at the bottom position. Good, just in here. That was nice. Good, good. Let's go four more. Four, three, two, use your pecs. Last one, good job. So little things we can do, right? Little things we can do at the end of the set when we're coming here. We can target the length and range. We can target the short and range. Good way to finish off the workout. Good. Keep those wrists over top of your elbows back here. Stretch that pec. There it is. Now drive in and out. There it is. Out. Now drive it in. There it is. Keep it in there. Good. Two. Pulse. Eight more. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, we're gonna do 10 at the back now. All right, good. Lock it in just in my hands. Just squeeze. One, two, three, four. Good. Five. Pecs. Six, seven, eight, nine. Good job.
this training is tough because your tendency is to want to race through the reps, right? It's kind of like life. If you're trying to go somewhere in life, how do you get to a destination? You got to punch an address into the GPS system. So if you come to the gym and you don't know what the address is, you don't know where you're driving, then you can lose focus of how to get to where you're trying to go. And that's when you start racing through the reps when you forget that the goal of today, the destination of today's workout is to keep the tension on, to squeeze, not swing, squeeze. All right, so it's so important to know what the goal of the workout is or else, again, it's like getting in the car not knowing where you're going. Exercise three, our face rope rows. All right, so we're really emphasizing a lot of retraction of the scapula and protraction of the scapula. Okay, so she's got a lot of shoulder movement going on and we want a lot of activation of the mid back muscles and the rear delt muscles. So we're not trying to isolate one or the other. We want all of this stuff working together. Good, and then elbows are going inwards. Elbows are going outwards and then they're going inwards. There you go. Let this stuff move naturally. You want this stuff to move naturally. There we go. Now you keep your abs engaged so your shoulders are always working around a fixed spine. And let's engage your abs more so that there's less rocking, more using your shoulders, less using your trunk. There it is, now we're working. That's what I want, this looks good. Rip them apart, don't pull them back, pull them out. Yeah. There you go, pull them out. There you go, pull them out. There you go. Now you're working. Three more, three, and then we're gonna do 10 at the front. Good, give me little ones. Right here, rip them apart. Good, rip them apart. Right there, you got this. Right here, rip them apart. You got this. Good job. Good job, man. How'd that look? Oh, how'd that look? YouTube, how'd that look? Like or dislike, how'd it look? Dislike it all day long. I'm not going anywhere, guys. <laughs> so let's just find a good weight. Let's do 25 reps. When we can't do any more, I want you guys just to do, I want you to lean over a bit, and I want you to just try and do 10 at the top. Close your eyes, find your side delts, and then I want you to do 10 in the bottom. All right, so we're going to go to failure for full, 10 at the top, and then 10 at the bottom. Don't swing them up, contract them up. Reach for opposite walls. Reach. Good. Don't bounce at your knees. If your rep range is getting shorter, don't worry. Just work through the range that you can own. Reach. Don't bounce, don't swing. If it's getting hard, bend your elbows like this and just start to pull up. Just elbows out, bend your, yep. Upright row, keep your wrists over top of your elbows. Steph, there you go. Wrists over top of your elbows. Good, bottom position, just drag your knuckles across the floor to the halfway point. No traps, just drag your knuckles across the floor. Knuckles across the floor. Sweep the floor with your knuckles. Sweep the floor with your knuckles. Good, abs locked down. Partials on the bottom. Side delts first, five more, let's go together. Five more, let's go. Five, four, no swinging, lock your abs down. Three, two, one, good job. We got muscle camp going here, torque barbell. Guys, how's baby weight training? Hey. Not easy. <laughs> They're getting a little taste of baby weight training. This will be up on YouTube soon. Muscle camp is back. All right, so you guys ever use these before, BFR bands? No. No? Okay, there's a lot of science around this stuff. Essentially what it does is it restricts blood flow. It's completely safe. All we're doing is doing exactly what we do when we lift weights, but with a more precise 
tool. So we're gonna lock the blood flow in here, which is gonna help trigger the mechanism of muscle growth, metabolic stress. So we're just creating more stress in the muscle than we normally do. One thing that I like to do is when you're doing your tricep extensions, you'll know, like if, you don't, if you're not able to fully extend your elbow and your shoulder, it's too tight. You should be able to create tension in your tricep. All right, the idea here is lightweight for crazy high reps. We're gonna do a big drop set for curls and then for extensions, and then that's it. You know, have you ever sprinted up hills and yeah. done like hill sprints? Yeah. And you know, your legs just feel like there's lead in them? That's what it's gonna feel like in your arms, like someone injected them with lead. Okay. All right, so it's a different kind of fatigue. It's not like the heavy kind of training we do. And then you're gonna lighten the weight a little bit, then do 30, 10 seconds rest, and then 20, and then that's it. So you're taking 10 seconds rest between 40, 30, 20. Yeah, we'll, we'll get a before and after of the veins. Get a very good look at her veins right now and watch what happens. Her arms are gonna be an inch bigger within the next couple minutes. Just keep constant tension. Don't, you don't need to squeeze at the top. Just constant tension up and down. This is your cardio for the week, girl. This is literally cardio. Oh. 10 seconds and 20. This is when you take the selfie and you fool everybody but yourself and your arms are bigger than you think. Next exercise, rope press downs. Uh, you can go with the straight bar, that's fine. Yeah, straight bar is fine. Oh my gosh. Wow. That was good? Yeah. 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 Once I get these off. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, That's when you're sweet. done, you can take them off right away. You don't have to keep them on. I feel they feel massive right yeah, now. Yeah, you just feel like you feel yeah. heavy, right? Yeah. You feel like whoa. It feels like someone yeah. injected lead in there. Yeah. All right, you guys are up next. You know you can do this. It's just in your head. Now make it count. Make it hurt. It's supposed to hurt. Start working. Don't just go through the motions here. This workout's about one thing, making your muscles work the weights. This is not strength training today. Strength training is when you get the weights to work your muscles, all right? We want your muscles to contract against the resistance every single inch, so we're not going through the motions just counting reps. We're making every rep count, pushing as much blood triggering, as much muscle growth as possible. Squeeze hard, man. Those arms are exploding, man. Let's go, best arms on stage. Keep your abs tighter. Your arms can do this, man. Baby weights here. It's all in your head, man. It's a brain game right now, let's go. I wanna see your muscles fight against this weight. Contract, good. Big arms, man. Biggest arms on stage, let's go. Come on, keep it on. Don't lose it. Good, lots left, come on. Good job. You guys killed it. Awesome. Baby weights. <laughs> Baby weights. We did heavy weights, we did baby weights. Yeah. Both work. Different goals. Yeah. How was it, guys? It was great. Yeah, it was different. A little different. Learning something new. Yeah. Brand new challenge. Good. Different better, different worse, different what? Awesome. Different good. I find like, since I'm a power lifter, I always stick to like smaller sets and stuff. And that hypertrophy stuff is just like, And that's a very specific goal. Yeah. If your goal is to move more weight, well then you need to get the weight to work your muscles. Yeah. But if you're trying to build your muscles and sculpt them, then we want our muscles to work the weight. So today's goal was for our muscles to contract against resistance, create tension, a lot of blood flow, create that metabolic stress. So again, different goals for different workouts. And when we start to combine all these different mechanisms, that's when our body starts to really improve. So it's just learning how to organize these workouts into a structured program. Yeah. If you guys are interested in going through the workout that they went through today, go to m5max.com. It's a six-day program. What you guys just watched was one of six workouts. If you're looking to build some muscle, look amazing like these guys, go check it out. I'll ship it to your house for free, all right? m5max.com. Thanks so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. You're going to do it again? Yeah. You guys Definitely. want these guys back or what? <laughs> Let us know in the comment section below. We're at Torque Barbell here in Toronto. Ooh. So these are some of our trainers here at the gym. Very, very smart, very knowledgeable. All have very successful careers. So thank you guys for your time and thank you for being learners. Thank you. Thank you thank for being you. teachable. Definitely. Definitely. All right. We'll see you guys next time. Oh my God. The pump for you.